Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. She wore this look to the Golden Globe Awards and I just absolutely love it. So if you guys do want to see how I achieved it, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyes using some concealer. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm just applying it all over my eyes and blending it in with a brush just so that it's evenly blended and it can act as a base for the eyeshadow we're going to be using. The eyeshadow palette I'm using today is the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to be taking this warm beige shade first of all and we're going to be taking this on a blending brush and applying this as our first transition shade. Not only is this nice and light and will help all the colours we're going to be applying after this blend evenly, but it's nice and warm. I definitely noticed that Kylie's look did have a nice amount of warmth and bronziness in it. Next, I'm going to be taking this warm brown yellow toned shade from the palette and we're going to be applying this deeper within the crease to start building up more of that warmth in the crease and also to start building that definition and almost a little hint of smokiness in the crease. So Kylie's look really wasn't that dark, um, but we do want to apply a little bit of a dark brown to really give it that nice amount of smokiness. So I'm applying this with a slightly more pointed brush to really focus this color on the crease area. And I definitely did notice that this color did come quite high above the crease. So I do want to start bringing it a little bit higher than we usually would above the crease area. I do also want to be applying this into the outer V area as well to prepare it for the dark brown we're going to be applying. Next, taking this dark brown shade from that same palette, I'm going to be applying this on the outer V and we want to start building up that smokiness like I said. This is the darkest color we're going to be applying. It's a really soft dark brown. It's nothing too harsh or too black in a sense. It doesn't look like a black brown. So this just makes it look like a really soft and effortless smoky eye. And you do want to, again, take it up quite high above the crease, but do make sure to blend the edges as much as you can. Again, go back into this color as many times as you need to to make sure that that color is nice and opaque in the crease. I am going to be wiping away the sides of my eye because I did notice that Kylie's eye was nice and straight. And then I am going to be taking this bronzy shade from the palette and applying it onto the center of my lid. And then I am taking another gold shade and applying it more onto the inner corner of my lid. This just gives it a little bit more brightness towards the inner corner and I could definitely see that Kylie's lid was quite shimmery. Next, I'm going to be taking some natural false lashes just because I do feel like Kylie was either wearing just mascara or really, really natural false lashes. So I did want to kind of recreate that look, but I don't have really long lashes to begin with. So I'm taking these lashes from Makeup Addiction and just applying them to my top lash line and also applying some mascara to make them blend in a little bit better to my natural lashes. Next, I'm just going to be priming my skin using my Too Faced Hangover Primer and I'm just applying this all over my skin just to give my skin a nice amount of hydration before foundation. And the foundation I'm taking is the EX1 Invisawear and I'm just blending that in with this Morphe Kabuki brush and I really like this Kabuki brush. It's from their new Elite collection. I'll have the numbers listed down below as always but it's just a really nice brush. Blended everything in flawlessly. I'm also just going to be highlighting all the areas I would like to bring forward and also conceal. So I'm just highlighting under my eyes, onto my forehead and also onto my chin. And I'm just going to be blending in those concealer areas using this little Zoeva Kabuki brush. I'm now just setting my face using my Soap and Glory Instant Retouch Powder and I'm just using this new brush I am obsessed with. It's one of the Morphe Elite Collection brushes as well and it just set my face so beautifully. I will list again the numbers of all the brushes and products down below as always, but this brush in particular is just my new obsession. Thank you. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera, but I will link my tutorial down below. Next, I'm just gonna be taking this brown eyeliner and applying it to my waterline and also applying it onto the bottom lash line. I'm just gonna be smudging this out and diffusing it with some of the eyeshadow we used on the outer V of our eye. We want this to look nice and smoky, but we don't want it to look overly harsh. So using this brown eyeshadow, we'll just diffuse it so that it looks nice and blended on the bottom lash line. I'm gonna be bronzing my skin now using this shade from the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. When it came to Kylie's skin, it looked really nice and glowy, but it didn't look contoured or overly sculpted. So I'm just applying this bronzer with a big brush in the areas where we would usually contour. This will just lightly sculpt the face while still giving us that really nice glow that just surrounds the perimeter of the skin. And now I'm just using this bronze highlight from Bobbi Brown and just applying it onto the tops of my cheekbone to finish off and give us that gorgeous glow. To finish off the look, I'm just going to be applying some stripped down lip liner from MAC. This is just a nice neutral brown and I'm just applying it all along my lip line to give us that nice amount of fullness and to really define our shape of our lips. Next, I'm just gonna be applying this lip lacquer from Rimmel, just to give it that really nice creamy nude lip. I'm just gonna be blending that in with my finger, and because it was a little bit too light, I just went on top of it with the stripped down lip pencil, and just ran it all over the lips to give it a nice brown tone. So guys, that is the end of this makeup look. I hope you enjoyed another Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. If you did enjoy, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see you all in my next video and I will see you later. Bye guys.